All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi, back at the track for another installment. I know I haven't been putting out a lot of track videos and honestly, the main reason for that is because I don't want you guys on the track all summer hammering workouts because if you've seen my previous video on what you should be doing in the off season to improve, track workouts shouldn't be the base of that work, okay? With that being said, there are some really good general endurance workouts you can do in the summer. And so today I'm gonna demo one of those workouts for you guys and kind of explain how it should go, what it's gonna help you with. And basically this is a great workout for like any event from the 100 to the 400, including hurdles. This is a great general endurance base work for you guys. Start to set that foundation for your season. So this is a perfect workout. I definitely want you guys to give this a shot and um, let's get started. Okay, so what this workout is, it's basically 20 to 30 reps of 100 meters, okay? So it might sound a little bit crazy and I'm, I don't think this is a very common workout. But basically what it is, um, you take your max P100, max 100 time, and you, you wanna run about 75% of that effort, okay? So if you run 10 seconds in the, in the 100 as a guy, then you're gonna be aiming for 17 to 19 seconds on these reps, okay? In between the reps, you're gonna be getting 30 to 45 seconds in between, so you can time that on your watch. The main thing with these workouts, okay, and hold on. So with the women, same thing, um, I'd probably say, depending on how fast you are, anywhere from 19 to 23, is that what we said, teens? Yeah, 19 to 23 seconds. It's gonna start out feeling very, very easy, but it just like, it's one of those workouts that just like every single rep, you just kind of like get a little bit more tired and it creeps up on you. So all of a sudden you get to like rep number 15, rep number 20 and you're just like, where am I right now? It's, it gets pretty intense. So when you're doing summer workouts, guys, make sure you're not like hammering workouts and just like pounding your body into the ground, okay? You wanna stay at like a really, like a, that's why I said 75% effort. That's the intensity level, okay? That's gonna keep you from just exhausting yourself before your seasons, okay? So all you wanna be doing here is getting a nice solid workout, feeling good afterwards, feeling tired, and then get off the track, okay? So definitely keep your flats on for this one and make sure you're not hammering these, uh, these reps. Just hit the times that I state and make sure they're not, it's not too intense for you, okay? So I'm gonna demo it for you and I think that's everything you need to know. Yeah, let's get started. And one last thing, guys. Um, we already did a warm up today. Even on these slow runs and slow workouts and stuff like that, make sure you're warming up. I was actually talking to uh, Mikey, the guy, one of the guys that um, I train with at the gym now and then, and he said he went out to the track the other day and just started sprinting and doing a workout and he didn't warm up and he pulled his hamstring. And so like, be very, very careful guys. Um, if you don't know how to warm up properly, I will put the warm up that we always do in the description below. So make sure you don't just walk out on the track and start running hard because that's a recipe for disaster. If you wanna get better, you have to stay healthy. So you have to pay attention to your body and you have to be smart about it, okay? So let's get started. So one more thing, if you don't have access to a track, you can still just do this workout on a grassy field somewhere. Um, you would just wanna go based on your time. So just run for 19 seconds, stop, wait for 30 to 45 seconds, and then turn around, run back for 19 seconds. You don't necessarily have to be on a track, have to be running 100 meters. Um, we have access to one, so obviously we're gonna use it. So keep that in mind. Anyone can do this workout anywhere. Whatever you have access to will work. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we only filmed the first 10 because I don't wanna make you guys kill yourself watching these. Um, a couple things to note. Number one, make sure you're not running too fast on these, especially in the beginning because it will creep up on you and it's not a speed workout, okay? This is a tempo workout, which means you're running at 75% effort and you're just running it over and over and over again, okay? 
If you wanna be a good track and field athlete, you have to learn what tempo is. So if somebody says go out and run a 75% 100 meter or 75 or an 80% 200 or you know some time, you should be able to go and run that time. You should know what effort gives you what result as an athlete, okay? My coach used to tell me, go run a 49, 400 in the workout, I would run 49, perfect, right on the dot, every single time. Okay, and so it's that kind of stuff, knowing what your effort is. So when you're in a race and you're running, maybe a 400, and you're anchoring your anchor leg and somebody's going blasting out, you know that he's running like an idiot, okay? Because that's the kind of stuff, and you know you're gonna catch him at the end or, or whatever, you know, if you know you're taking it out too hard, like this is where you learn that stuff in your workouts, okay? So don't be racing your friends and trying to have a pissing contest and all that kind of stuff. That's what you do in the races, okay? Not when you're working out. Another thing, when you're running these tempo workouts, it gets it can get boring. So focus on something, pick something. If you if you're if you overstride when you run, focus on turning over a little bit better. Um, if you have terrible arm action, focus on bringing your arms down, relaxing your shoulders. Always pick something, always be working on something, okay? That's how you improve, that's how you get better. So um, every day, you just wanna be coming out here and trying to get better. God, I got sweat in my eyes. But anyway, that's the workout. I was running 16 to 18, taking 30 seconds rest. Um, if you're more advanced, you can stay down in that rep range, and also you can do 30 of these, and you can stay about 30 seconds rest. Um, if you're less advanced, or someone that's just trying this as a general endurance workout, you would wanna stay in the t about 20 reps of that and take about 45 seconds rest. So that's the workout. Like I said, it's a great general endurance base work for your off season. Give it a shot, let me know what you think. And as always, hit that like button, subscribe to the video if these are helpful for you. And we will catch you in the next one.